In this video, we're going to look deeper in a true power of Nano Banana Pro and of Adobe Firefly, how this all work together. And I will show you how you can use it to receive the best result you can have it. And you can create a still animations just right here by reference all different characters and put them together. Or you can go ahead and create your own animations even with this, which I will show you how to do this as well, just in the end. But majority of what we're going to do is just showing step by step how we can create precisely what we wanted so we don't surrender our creativity to ai and accept what is given our result we'll have a solid control over what we're generating where we're generating and how it's all look so let's start first what we're going to do it is creating our characters or elements that we're going to utilize in our images i am right now in a firefly adobe.com links will be down below there I'm also going to use the Photoshop, but you can also utilize to using Photoshop online. And this is actually very easy with Firefly. If you go on top, you can see right here, open in Photoshop web. And when you click on this, this is actually take this image, whatever you want, open and open in Photoshop where you can just have it exactly the same as your normal Photoshop, only everything online in this case. Okay. Um, I did generate characters, not in here, but with a Gemini three with a pro nana banana and i did this online inside the gemini this is just to showing you this same engine and you can use it whatever you feel comfortable at this time um so right here what it's happening i created one character let's say it's called spaceman yes and in a prompt you can specify how you want it what colors how you want to look and it's what happened i was tweaking around till i have it and tell you true you can even put your sketches but i will show you this a little bit later how you can utilize even your own hand drawing to show you exactly what you wanted so when you create this i will highly recommend just when you render just mention and say hey create a backside of the character so you want to create actually this character from different uh, lines because we're going to use and right here example you can see this is the back this is side. I always like to do this because when you start reference later, you want to upload it the sites to make AI to see. So AI does not generate something again randomly. It's a basis solely on what you fit it in on your reference. Again, you can utilize your own sketches, your own drawing, or Gemini can create for you. So they also what I created, it's a backdrops. And here's things, for example, in the moon, I want to create backdrops. You can go and say, it just says, create a moon backdrop for me. The reason why I open here in Photoshop, what I recommend for you to do, see if you generate online, it's like what I did here with a Gemini. You see this symbol? It will add watermark. This is watermark it does not add when you render inside the Photoshop. So this is only related if you render and in this case i like to open in photoshop so i can go just select this element like right there and create just simple generative fill so all what it does it will replace with something because if you don't do this the ai actually in a firefly will read when we start combining with everything and you will see this symbol everywhere so you don't if you okay with symbol you can just leave there and you can remain uh replace as well any other toe chops if you want it in this background you like background but maybe a couple things like rock on the wrong place or something else you can always just go and replace add and modify so it's very nice to prepare all your elements that you want to use it or use your photos and same things for other pro props for example right here i have a spaceship created and I like the spaceship. So I'm saying, you know, give me this position of the spaceship front and also open hatch. So when person come out, be sure when you render, you says use exactly the same. This is one thing is important when you create, use it words like exact, do not modify. So you give it instruction, like you tell some, your artist, what you want to do so that it's a follow through that and right here is a precisely what's happened i says do this don't change this add this element and you can see it's actually created quite a bit nice the different sides for me i also create with the letter up and down so i can use it these prompts if for example you says hey i want those solar 
panel so rotate sometime you i would recommend prepare the prop in the state you want it like maybe meteor crushed yes you want damage the solar panels then you re render again with damage and use it but be sure you utilize the word don't change anything else except and what you want it so this is like a uh, golden phrase to do this way and you'll see we're going to do that as well so and right here with same prop so what do we want to do if we want to create this way usually i'm just going and drag and drop my background i'm going to drag and drop same our guy here then let's go just drag and drop ours notice what i'm putting i'm putting all these elements with a new pro you can reference six images yes you can put it multiple images and says build this and this will utilize and reference them be sure you specify that you want them exactly reference those well you know what I, I, let me actually do something fun that i did not have it i'll put it right here doggy a ln doggy so and uh, what are we going to do it's ask okay so let's create this i'm going says play spaceship on the ground next to the ship man waving so it's maybe a little bit smaller size on the side of the image uh make the dog peeking from the side make kind of funny things funny image for us so when you're done with this you can also specify how big you want big small sizes for me i want them actually a little bit smaller and when you're ready click generate look look on this we're using four different references and here is the image we got it so we have it our spaceship look exactly same with letter down we have a uh, spaceman waving to us and we have uh, this silly dog peeking out notice i still have uh, this emblem because i was using background with the, this element not remove it and that's what i said before if you don't prepare it will be there so be sure you clean up your backdrop before you're using um, I did not see that problem when I'm using specific characters, kind of isolate them out. But if you do on a background, you will have it, this kind of elements sometimes maybe pop up. And of course, if you want to modify something more, you can go look on this image and going to click edit. It's where we was right now. You can work directly on this edit. And right here, for example, you can say, hey, remove this big rock or add comment comet falling or something else so you can modify here or adjust characters and if you want just a little bit more specific familiar with like replacement firefly inside the adobe photoshop then you can go to click down and have a generator fill on this case you can see right here i have it my brush where i can similar as before i can mark some elements and set with what i want to replace here as well and if you want progress more, if you want to add another character, you always can go click down, select use this as a reference. And now we have this image as a reference. So this is to create a one way. But what if you notice right here, the placement was not necessarily what I want. What if I want to create my own placement? That is actually super easy to do. What do you need to do? Go into Photoshop. And if you're drawing like mine, you can draw this way. Well, that is not true <laughs> true my drawing, but I can sketch even like this, a primitive image just like that. And next, what we can do, let's remove our doggy, remove these ones. We want to go ahead and add our sketch here. And right there, I'm just going and say, based on the sketches, the sketch and pauses in my reference with make the astronaut and uh, let me fix all my beautiful landing exactly pauses so we can do just like that here and just click generate sometimes you maybe notice like right here it's covered wrong proportions it did put it on right places as was in the sketches but because my sketch is kind of not very detailed it may have a problem that is very easy to do all what you need to specify just says here be exactly the same reference and be sure you have it properly proportions. So in this case, you can see it using exactly the same spaceship as in the image and it's a right proportion. So it's even placed it far away. This is actually very nice because AI recognize a couple things. It's recognized the crater we have here. So the ship does not even fit inside and it's put it behind crater right there on the back and it's properly proportional with the, in 3D space, which is 
very incredible. Notice as well what it did, it's add a little bit of the haze because normally, or actually just yes, saturations, normally what's happening in um, far away, you will start losing detailizations, other things. So it's given us this 3D perspective. And this is, I think it's the excellent, excellent job, included all shadows, everything matched perfectly. And it's all based on what we create characters and what we generated. So let's say now you have these images. It's easy to create your own illustrations now. It's easy to create your own and not AI give it to you. It's actually you don't surrender your creativity you're using. It's just more like a compositing. I usually spend hours and hours to compositing. This is similar to compositing. It just takes this extra step of away from you through masking, placing, all the stuff. It does. It saves you time so you can focus on your storytelling and not on the how to tell that story. So let me show you some other examples of what you can do with this. For example, right here, you can see you can render. You can also, like in my story, I'm going to animate this and I'll show you some segments of this. But you can see in here, notice I can show this spaceship says, hey, add the flames to the spaceship, make its landing with dust, like right here. Spaceship landing on a moon, flames coming from engine, raising some dust. It's created very easy. I don't need to worry about this, but models, positioning, backgrounds is all mine. Or right here, even more closer to the engines. And of course, sometimes AI may have a mistake, like right here, it's kind of, but it does not have it my spaceship. So you always use, remember this, need be exactly the same. So I use it a lot of time, this exactly, specific just reference tell AI that this is necessary your details and everything so it will create and when you specify like this look it's look exactly same like that so let, let me show you how it will look in animation so th this is example and this is about 1024 so it's a little bit smaller I was using VDo. I will put a link down below for you so you can try if you want it I also do, do with a domo and I will show you example with a domo in other videos how we can do this but right here is example look on this this is spaceship landing and look how this is animated our flames coming from this adjusting and <laughs> like the movements I mean literally animations is excellent the trick actually to do this animations it's creating first and last frame and this is what I would recommend for you to do for example, start with the frames like this, just example, and end this frame or whatever you have it, beginning and end. And after you specify what motions and how long that motion should take it, and AI will create it. But without the pro nana banana, that is will be extremely hard because my last frames right here you don't see ships but when it's landing a ship will look total different and that is a problem with normal generations right here because we're using a reference and we says use it exactly same there will be exactly same ship so for me i can easy going and pre-create all of these different frames and including like you know the person in spaceship looking out and you notice right here later on back so it's not always work correctly sometimes you need to run again but in the end after when you specify and work a little bit with your prompt you receive exactly the same what you wanted with exactly the same reference to this your spaceship your man planet whatever you want to do in my case there and you can create comics books you can create animations you can create illustrations and this is most important it is generated by ai but it is purely your vision and you don't surrender your creativity to whatever result AI give it to you. So control sketches, control positions, control elements you want to do it and you just explain how you want to play, put them. So here is um, kind of my workflow, how I doing this. Links to the reference down below. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.